What's up, fellow wanderers, and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be doing another historic red tier video. In today's video, we are going to be looking at St. Luke's here in Red Deer and its history as a establishment in the Red Deer community. As you can see, um, St. Luke's is a stone church um, built from uh, sandstone actually quarried in Red Deer. Here you can see in this uh, photograph from the Glumbo archives how it looked back in the day with no uh, creamery, no roads around it. As you can see there is a little bell tower right up at the top there and the building hasn't really changed much since um, when it was first built and you can see there is um like some stained glass in there as well all uh hand crafted and um hand built really um well built by um uh, the locals at the time when they were uh looking for a place of worship and here we are looking at um an interior shot of St. Luke's, so as you can see, there is some stained glass there. Um, it definitely has uh, an arched ceiling, as you can, as you could tell from the previous photograph of um, from the Glenbow archives. It, that the ceiling is arched because of how the the how St. Luke's has been built, and it is very interesting. Like there is that stained glass. It's very different from. A Catholic Church per se, um, a lot. It is very different. Um, I wouldn't mind actually taking in a Anglican Mass and seeing the differences between um, that that form of Mass and the Catholic Mass. Just because I've been raised Catholic, it'd be uh, very interesting to um, take that in. Again, here's another picture of St. Luke's back in the day. That's going to be looking south actually. So that's going to be going to be so when you saw on the the creamery that was looking west, but now we're looking south and as you can see it has those parapets at the top there. Um the church hall was a later addition on the east side of the building and there is that um Anglican um, cross again facing to the west side of the building v very well it's a very well built church I'm glad that it was actually named as a municipal historic resource just because a lot of buildings nowadays like historic buildings have been uh, torn down to make way for progress but it's op it's absolutely fantastic that um, buildings like St. Luke's have been preserved because of their value to history. Here's another picture of the interior. This was taken during, I believe, either the Second or the First World War. I can't remember when. But as you can see, there's the Union Jack on the left-hand side of the picture there. And then there's the red ensign, which was Canada's official flag until the Flag Act passed. So just another look at the interior of um, St. Luke's which I find found quite interesting because it looks like it hasn't really changed much apart from um the taking down of the flags on the uh, interior there. Yeah, and I, I just found it quite interesting. Again, another um historic photograph here that this time will be it's looking uh east just because you can see the uh little tower there and then there's the main there's one of the main uh, stained glass window windows. There's the little Anglican cross at the top there. And you can see there's some people there. So people that um, took part in the ceremonies, masses, baptisms, marriages, funerals at St. Luke's back in the day. It was very much a hub of activity. The church was a huge foundation of many prairie towns back in the day. Um, a lot of boom towns 
First thing that was usually built, other than the railway and the uh, train station, was the church because it was a hub of activity for the community. As you can see here, um, cross on the end there, there's um, that cla glass window, that stained glass window that was in that previous shot, in that previous historic um, photograph. As you can see, there's that tower there. So we're facing east here. And we're just kind of hanging out here, really just taking in um, how well it's been uh, preserved. And now we're just going to be heading west here just to give you a good idea of um, the stained glass here. They do have a couple of trees planted out front. Um, very interesting. There's the uh, parish hall there. That was a later addition, like I said. And yeah, um very well built um definitely worth kind of checking out um if you're in the uh red deer area and yeah i just um yeah i really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you're new here please drop a like and subscribe to the channel and yeah i'll see you guys in the next video and thanks for watching